Hi guys, and welcome to another episode. Uh, today's episode, we're going to take a look at the contents of the new Marvel Crisis Protocol uh, expansion, which is Hawkeye and Black Widow, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So let's get down to the table and have a look. Hi guys, so here we are. We're going to unbox um, Marvel Crisis Protocol, Hawkeye and Black Widow, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, expansion. So this is literally just landed with us. Let me see if I can get the cellophane off. Um, out of the three new releases um, that have come, this is the only one we currently don't have because we were lucky enough to get some previously. The um, the Gamora and is it Proxima, I think the other one's called. So, as always, um, I'll have a look at the models after. As always, they come with an extra set of tokens, um, some damage ones and stuff. So if we carefully take these out, nice. We've got some extra tactics cards. Put them one side. Right. So look at the tokens. They're the least important. Nice thick cardstock as always, lovely, beautiful, full colour. We have two tactics cards. We have professionals and heavy firepower. So I'm a massive fan of the artwork on these. Um, kind of always, it's a shame that people hardly ever seem to see these because when you play them, most people use opaque card sleeves so you don't see the backs, but I think the backs are lovely, that each one's different. So, professionals, unaffiliated, is it active? Natasha Romanoff and Clinton Barton may spend two power each to play this card. If Clinton Barton damages a character with an attack this round and Natasha Romanoff is within range two of the damaged character, you may move one asset or civilian token from the damaged character to Natasha Romanoff. She is now holding that token. This card does not allow a character to hold more tokens than the crisis specifies. That's pretty cool. Um, essentially it's like you're, you could say, rescuing people, potentially, civilians. Um, nice little way of stealing those point scoring things off your opponents. So we've got heavy firepower, it's unaffiliated, it's active. So during a character's activation, it may spend two power to play this card. The next attack made by this character this turn, targeting an enemy character that is not within range three of any allied character, adds two dice to the attack roll. So yeah, spend two power, get two extra attack dice. Um, don't know if it's the greatest, but sometimes you don't have characters within range three, so it could be worth getting them a few extra dice rolls. So first up we have Black Widow, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., subname Natasha Romanov. She has a health of five, speed of medium, She's height 2, and she has a cost of 3. A 4 defense against physical, 3 against... Ooh, it, um, what's yellow? Is it spiritual? Power? And obviously blue, 3 defense against the blue one. Someone in the comments, let me know what they're called again. So her first attack is automatic pistol, range 3, 4 dice, cost 0 power. After this attack is resolved, the character gains 1 power. Rapid fire, after this attack is resolved, this character may make 1 additional automatic pistol attack. The additional attack must target the original target character. The additional attack does not have the rapid fire special rule. That's amazing. <laughs> but you'll always get a uh, second attack. I suppose it makes it easier for your opponent to defend because they're essentially defending against four dice then against four again. But that's basically a an eight dice attack as a basic. That's, that's quite nice. Uh, next up we have Tear Gas. That's in area two. Think so I guess that means it's just off herself, is it? I'm not sure. Uh, it's four dice and cost two power, so 
This attack does not gain power for damage dealt by this attack. After the attack is resolved, the target gains the poison special condition. Then a Widow's Kiss, which is range 2, 6 dice, and costs 3 power. Add 1 dice to this attack roll for each special condition the target character has. On a Swirly Gig, that's what we call them, is a push. It's before damage is dealt, this character may push the target character away short. Then we have Interrogate, which costs 3. At the start of the cleanup phase, if this character is within 2 of one or more dazed enemy characters, it may use the superpower. Its controlling player increases the amount of VPs they score from this crisis card during this cleanup phase by 1. Its controlling player increases the amount. So I guess she increases. Parting shot, two power. After an attack targeting this character is resolved, this character may use the superpower. The attacking character suffers one damage. This character may advance away from the attacking character short. Nice so you can Panji, do a couple of shots, and then you can basically do as many superpowers as you want, so you could keep advancing away from the enemy. Short, as long as you've got the firepower, er, uh, the um, range two. Because she has stealth, characters must be within three of this character to target with attacks. You can hopefully use parting shot to get out of the way. Um, obviously, her damage size is the same, I think. But yeah, uh, she's quite cool. I would say she's worth the extra point compared to the original Black Widow. And next up we have Hawkeye, Clinton Barton. He's got a health of 4, movement medium, height 2, cost 3, his defense is 4 2, two, and he has arrow shot. It's a range 5, that's a good range. Uh, 5 dice and 0 power. After this attack is resolved, this character gains power equal to the damage dealt. Before choosing a target, this character may choose whether its attack is red or yellow. On a swirly gig, it's a full quiver. After this attack is resolved, the defending character gains one of the following special conditions. Bleed, shock, slow, or poison. Excellent. So you can literally choose what benefits you most. Good one, potentially, to do after other, your other models have gone. Because if they do bleed and shock, then you can then choose to do slow or poison and stuff. We have a hook arrow. Cost two power. Place this character within three of its current position. This superpower can only be used once per turn. That's a, a nice one to get moving. Sometimes it's always nice to be able to move without using an action. And then you can do some shooting. Trick shot. The next arrow shot, this attack... The next arrow shot attack, this character makes ignore line of sight. And the defending character does not benefit from cover. Excellent. So you spend one. It means your arrow shot is then a lot better. If they're in cover. Uh, fast draw when this character is targeted by an attack the attacker if the attacker is not within range three of the character it may use the superpower this character immediately makes an arrow shot attack targeting the attacking character nice i'm a big fan of anything that can attack a sequence um always quite nice if, if you can get shots off from their activation, especially if they're attacking you twice. That's extra shots you get. So first off, the bases. A choice of four for the two to use. With, I think that's a bent can and if somebody can tell me what that is supposed to be, you're a better man than me. Next up is Hawkeye. That's always super crisp detail. Love the uh, Hydra symbol that he's standing on. It's beautiful. They really do make nice models. Um, yeah, go together nice and easy. I know it will. Can't see any mold lines. It just. Very well designed, nice facial detail there. Let's see how his sunglasses on. Beautiful looking model. Next up is 
Black Widow. Got pistols and a holsters there. Beautiful again, crisp detail. Well designed, lovely model. Nice facial detail there. I see her hair is separate up here. And again, with the uh, Hydra symbol there. Beautiful. So, look forward to these models being painted and assembled, and we'll get them on the table in a game soon. Right. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much.